These three, in this reporter's opinion, obsessed farmers, remain convinced the fox in question will eventually reappear. Why? Because foxes aren't meant to live in a sewer. They're refugees. All they have to eat down there is... Um... Trash! And not much of it. Uh-huh. Thank you, farmers. For Action 12, this is Dan Peabody. Well, what are we looking at? It's just his tonsils. They're a little swollen. Oh, serious? You know, hopefully you won't have to lose them. Lose the tonsils? That's good. I'm hungry. Smell? Have some uh, water. Here. I, to keep things as simple as I like wallpaper. It's the first time I've been to a party where no one serves anything. He keeps My darlings. Where are we going? Nobody knows. We were in the middle of a meditation practice. Watch your step. Let's see now. Where does this lead? Oh, no. Foxy, it's filthy. Keep a good grip, everyone. It's better be worth it. I think I see a little sliver of light. What's this? Is it a door? You're a terrible actor, Foxy. Do you smell something? Is that Freon? Shh. I'm going to crack open this trap door and see if something's on the other side. I highly doubt it, though. It's probably just more sewer. You know, wouldn't it be surprising if... Open it. <laughs> hey, look. There's a whole enormous, glorious, gigantic supermarket up here. And they close early on weekends. Oh. 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 Wow. Nice you really are kind of a quote-unquote fantastic box. I try. Get enough to share with everybody, and remember, the rabbits are vegetarians, and badgers supposedly can't eat walnuts. I guess now that Christofferson's dad's already down to single pneumonia and getting better, he'll be going home soon, huh? Actually, when he spoke to me from the hospital, he said he was already talking to Weasel about real estate availabilities down in our sewer system. Oh, really? Well, now's the time to buy. Okay, I get it. Is that your trademark? I'm pregnant again. Wow. I think we're both glowing. Do another toast, Dad. Okay, uh... Let's see, uh... Yeah, right, okay. They say all foxes are slightly allergic to linoleum, but it's cool to the paw. Try it. They say my tail needs to be dry cleaned twice a month, but now it's fully detachable, see? They say our tree may never grow back, but one day something will. Yes, these crackles are made of synthetic goose, and these giblets come from artificial squab, and even these apples look fake. But at least they've got stars on them. I guess my point is, we'll eat tonight, and we'll eat together, and even in this not particularly flattering light, you are without a doubt the five and a half most wonderful wild animals I've ever met in my life. So let's raise our boxes to our survival. How was that? Mm. That was a good toast.